Before this democratic era, Nigeria was under a military government. A military government is a dictatorship style of government. The head of state is not chosen by voting, but instead, power is taken by force. Force here often implies coup where the sitting head of state could be dethroned by death or simply stepping down. Nigeria has recorded multiple coups in its history, both failed and successful ones. This coup led to the death of some Nigerian leaders and other prominent figures. Below is the full list of coup d'etat in Nigeria and how it all went down. You're welcome to InfoBustop YouTube channel, where we keep you up to date with the latest news, trends and info in Nigeria and Africa. If you're new to this channel, do consider to subscribe so that you don't miss any gists. Now let's get straight to business. 1. January 1966 Coup the January 1966 coup was the first military coup in Nigeria. This came three years after Nigeria became a republic. The coup was led by Kaduna Nzeogu and occurred in cities across Lagos, Ibadan and Kaduna. About 22 persons were killed in the coup. This includes the then Prime Minister Tafawa Balewa, Amadu Bello, Festo Sokote and others. After the coup, the Nigerian government handed over power to the armed forces and that was the beginning of military rule in Nigeria. In the aftermath of the coup, General Aguinyi Ironsi took over as head of state making him the first military leader. 2. July 1966 Coup This coup was a counter to the first coup that happened in January and it came about six months after. The coup was organized by Northern soldiers who were displeased with the killing of Northern leaders and politicians in the first coup. It was led by General Mutala Muhammad and in the aftermath, Yakubu Gowon succeeded as head of state. The July 1966 coup saw the death of General Aguin Ironsi, who was the current head of state amongst others. This is a very notable coup in Nigeria's history as it played a major role in the course of the civil war which kicked off a year after. 3. July 1975 Coup The two first coup in Nigeria saw the death of prominent Nigerians. However, the 1975 coup was bloodless. No one was killed but Yakubu Gowon was overthrown. The officers who carried out the coup weren't happy with how Gowon ran the country. Yakubu Gowon had been in power for almost nine years since he assumed the position in 1966. The face of the coup was Colonel Namvengaba after he made the announcement. General Mutala Muhammad, who headed the July 1966 coup, was made head of state after this coup. Ulushe Gwambasonjo, a brigader at the time, was his deputy. 4. February 1976 Coup the February 1976 coup was an attempted coup. While it did lead to the death of some people, it was unsuccessful. The coup was organized by Colonel Buka Dimka and was to remove General Mutala Muhammad from power. The coup plotters succeeded in killing General Mutala Muhammad after he was shot along with his aide in a car ambush. However, in a few weeks, the plotters, including the leader, Dimka, were caught and executed. General Ulusha Gwambasonjo, who was Mutala Muhammad's deputy, became the new head of state after this coup. 5. December 1983 Coup Before 1983, General Ulusha Gwambasonjo had handed power over to a democratic government with Cheu Shagari as president. This was the start of the Second Republic in Nigeria after the general elections. However, the military led a coup that took the country back to military rule. The surrender from the federal government to the military government was controversial and it led to the death of Brigadier Bako, who was sent to the president. Everything went down at the presidential villa and the coup was a successful one. In the aftermath, General Muhammad Buhari became the head of state. 6. August 1985 Coup this military coup was spearheaded by General Ibrahim Babangida, who was the chief of army staff at the time. It saw the dethronement of General Muhammadu Buhari as head of state. There are no official records of death in this coup, so it's said to be a bloodless coup. However, Muhammadu Buhari was dethroned. 
General Ibrahim Babangida, who led the coup, also succeeded as head of state afterwards. There was an alleged Vasta coup later that year, but it only ended in the plan's book, the Babangida government executing all the conspiring soldiers. 7. April 1990 Coup Although the April 1990 coup was an unsuccessful one, it was the cruelest military coup in Nigeria. The coup was led by Major General Gideon Oka and the aim was to overthrow General Ibrahim Babangida. There were attacks to kill the head of state but none were successful. Major General Gideon Oka made a statement announcing the success of the coup on April 22. However, not long after, it was captured with 41 other soldiers that participated in the coup. They were all executed in July that year, while General Ibrahim Babangida remained in power. 8. November 1993 Coup Once again, Nigeria attempted civilian rule with Chief Enes Chunekon as interim president after General Ibrahim Babangida and the unsuccessful June 13 elections. This was the Third Republic and again, the military led a coup to overthrow the government. The coup was led by General Sonny Abacha, who was the defense minister at the time. He became the new head of state after the coup's success. The November 1993 coup has no major casualties as the civilian president was asked to resign, which he obliged. The majority of military coup in Nigeria have been very bloody. Nevertheless, Nigeria is no more under military rule and there are no chances of the country going back to dictatorship in the future. Hence, it's reassuring that the list of coup d'etat in Nigeria ended in 1993. There have been no major coup in the country since then. That's it for today. We hope you've enjoyed our compilation of coup d'etat in Nigeria. Tell us which coup you consider to be the most important in Nigeria's history. To get other latest info, hit the subscribe button and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.